Hi, I'm Tane. I'm an industrial designer here at the product experience team at Kiska. Hello, I'm Timur. I am design lead in product design team at Kiska. And we're here to answer your questions about AI. So, what is the name of the software? The things what you've seen is ConfUI. ConfUI is the most advanced interface what could interact with stable diffusion. That's why we're using it. So the next question is, is it useful for any other phase than ideation? Yes, it is. And whenever you have to, for example, readjust your concept or just like put the concept in different environments or create a visual story around your concept, you can use the power of AI. Where do you think AI can be best applied in the design process? I think all the way through. Research, analysis based on text-to-text -text models, um, comfy UI, um, and basically these kind of tools for art direction, mood boarding, etc. as well as also copywriting and marketing. Try to design a motorcycle with AI. Uh, we are now in exploration phase, so we actually very actively explore where AI could be used and how. So uh, transportation and motorcycle design is no exception. How can we as designers use AI in a positive way? I have to say, AI is not the enemy. AI is just accelerator tool. So basically, AI, what AI is doing is doing some process faster than before. Don't take AI as a journey from A to B. You still have to be creative. You still have to do something to both AI. AI is just a tool. Who owns the rights for an AI creation? The person who creates the prompt or the AI itself? I think it totally depends on the type of model or AI service that you use. Usually, open source models, the designer, you, uh, is basically the owner of the output. And it's uh, totally free. And of course, you can use it for commercial purposes as well. Seems to be a very important question about young designers and portfolios. As a junior designer, should AI be excluded from projects in your portfolio? So I would say rather opposite. You have to be transparent and you have to highlight all cases when you use AI. I think it's more critical today um, to be basically a designer who has the potential of trying new tools. So I wouldn't say that you should exclude, but you have to be transparent about where you use AI and not use AI. The next question is, will AI render human creativity less valuable and make concept artists redundant? I, I always say that, you know, like skilled and experienced designer and artist are going to create a much better job with AI when the person who never, you know, got the background of painting, drawing, photography, 3D. So it is actually very important to be, you know, very, very uh, well developed as an artistic person to use AI in a perfect way. Is AI sustainable? Hmm. Learning AI is a sustainable career choice, in my opinion. Uh, designers who are using AI will supersede the designers who don't. So yes, in terms of your career, it is sustainable. But when it comes to environmental impact, yeah, of course, it's not the best thing. But we have to use, let's say, green energy to kind of harness the power of these, these big supercomputers. Are you developing your <laughs> own models? Yes, we are experimenting in developing our own AI models because this is the way how you can tie it, uh, you know, the generation in a very specific way what you need. What about the ethical questions around data sets being commonly used? I mean, the thing is, creators need to be completely transparent with the way um, they see, uh, you know, these AI related licenses. Of course, they need to understand if the AI model is trained just for personal use or just for research purposes or it could be used for commercial purposes. So keep an eye out on what models you're using. This is the, basically the most ethical way of using AI. And the next question actually related to that, how are the intellectual property rights regulated? The simple answer, you can always train your own small models on your own materials, but when you're using the big models, please check the license and check the database what these big models were trained on. So, will AI replace the Photoshop rendering? No, image output from AI is really just like a raw photograph. Uh, you still need a designer to put a hand on it, on color grading, or, you know, giving that, fin that, that final touch, basically. So far, 
It's accelerated a lot. It helps a lot to blend environment to exchange some part of details. But again, still need a very good guidance from you, from designers or from artists to make a final touch. So AI is good, good assistant, but it's completely not the automatic thing. You still need have to work with function. So thanks a lot for your questions. It was very, very interesting and exciting for us to answer. And please have a try AI. And that's all about our toolbox. Catch you next time. Thank you. Bye.